what will be next will be this one. One the whole little cakes. I think this one will go a little bit faster than the other one. The other one I think took me about four days because I had to let so many things dry. Pretty cute. There's the cakes. This is how you make tea in miniature. You cut um, you cut this crepe paper and you put it in this tiny little bowl. This was supposed to be brown, but they gave me this kind of sage green. <laughs> Here it is. I made a mess. It looks like tea. I'm gonna like further back. And there's the cakes. I added some lemon slices to the tops of these. And now, I'm going to put the tiny little spoon <laughs> onto the tray. Here goes. There it is. So cute. This will be a weight to put on top of that. Oh, blurry. I forgot to record making the cake stand cabinet. But there it is. All done. In its place. Next up, we will be making this cabinet. Look at the cute little door. Look at that. the windows. Looks like a little house. Here's what it should look like when it is done. Closer up. There's all the goodies on it. Now I just have to put all these little goodies on. I'm, I haven't finished all of them, but I put a little nail polish on the teeny tiny teapot. Just to give them a little pop color. And this one had a bit of a hiccup in, in its making. It's supposed to have this piece here to decorate the bottom. Like so. But it doesn't fit. A little bit hard to See, it's supposed to go in here like that, and then it's supposed to show just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit of the white on the bottom. 
right there. So it's actually supposed to go, I believe, behind this blue little paneling, which would mean it would go like right there, but because of the shelf that's there, it's not going to fit. It actually makes it poke out really far, and I can't use it. Now this one I was able to put the shelf on correctly because the backing had a place to show where the shelves go. And then you got this one, and then you got the blue shelf, and there's just, there's just no way to actually fit this piece on. I, I tried putting it on the back, it, it kind of more or less works, I mean, it, it works that way right, right here, but it doesn't actually show what it's supposed to show right here. Now I suppose I could just like cut this top off and probably put it on the back, but I mean, I was just like, what's the point? I mean, this is inside the tea shop. You won't even see that. So I'm not going to bother with it. I'll just use this for something else. Let's put it together. Well, we finished the tea cabinet. Oh, maybe we can zoom in. There it is. We added some details like that tea caddy, which was supposed to be over here, but did not fit. So we put it there. And of course we colored the teapots different colors so they can stand out a little. And then we also made this cute little table. Oh, actually, it's not supposed to go that way. It's supposed to go this way. Like that. And then, of course, here is the cake stand. And now, we're going to put on the door and the walls. Well, you know, like the window walls. Cause they're not really walls. They're mostly windows. And the walls are up, if you want to call these walls. Got some of the lights going. Well, I mean, they're not on. Strung. This will go like this. And then I think it will go along the roof. I can't, I can't remember exactly, but yeah. Right, like that. Next up, I will be making the, the chairs. All the chairs that go along for each area. Here are the chairs, the pieces, that's two stools, one chair, and then there's the couch. I have to put a little mattress on the couch as well as a pillow. Oh, that's not a, that's not a chair. So, let's get started. The chairs are done. I kind of messed up on these, but they're kind of hard to make. At least for me they were. Probably why it's best to use that cement glue they talk about. Or actually, they don't really talk about it. It's I believe the cement glue dries pretty quickly, more or less, from what I've seen. So gluing things like these in, especially this particular part right here, would work a little bit better. I had to wait a couple of days to glue the material on because it wouldn't stick. I had to use tape to keep it all in place. The chairs are put in place. So what's left on our project? 
this table here. Ooh, little tea set. Little books. Look at that little base. little dessert serving tiered whatever it's called <laughs> gotta pop the table legs out of this thing which is kind of tricky you don't have the right tool Hello, and welcome to Rose Cottage's Tea Room. Would you like a cucumber sandwich, tuna salad sandwich, or maybe a chocolate cake, eclair, lavender flavored macaroon, lemon tart with a cherry on top? Or this chocolate bonbon. Or maybe you would like this lime flavored chiffon cake. And the table is done. Now originally this couch had this material for the mattress part. And this table, the yellow part here, had this material. But I didn't want to put white on white, and I did not like this color. So I thought, well, whatever I think of cute cafes and going to eat at for a picnic, I like checkered material. And there's not really a lot of yellow in this one. But I thought, well, if I did a little yellow material, I'd be able to have that pop out along with some of the few yellow flowers. I think it will look really good. So, there's that. Now for the moment, this will be, be continued for a third part. Part three. Because there's still a lot to do. There's plants to make. There's more of the roof to make. And then there's the actual back. So, to be continued. 